In every Greek school, every morning begins with a prayer. But opponents believe this ritual discriminates against children who are not Orthodox Christians. Their campaign has gained traction since the court in Strasbourg ordered Italian schools to take down crucifixes. They want to remove crosses and icons. The way things are going, we'll be asked to take the cross off the flag as well. What we do isn't fanaticism. It's simply that the Greek constitution recognizes Orthodox Christianity as the state religion. Civil rights activist Panayoti Dimitras is the church's would-be nemesis. He wants the Strasbourg judgment to be applied in Greece and elsewhere in Europe. I think, as the European Court said, a child uh, should uh, go into a school environment where he or she is under no pressure to uh, choose one religion over the other. This school believes classroom icons are an essential reminder of faith in a difficult world. But if opponents have their way, the icons will go. The Orthodox Church says it will fight the Greek government if it attempts to enforce a ruling which it claims panders to minorities. Bishops argue that children require more substantial icons than football and pop stars. Young people need guiding symbols of this life and the next. These are the holy symbols. All religions have them. They represent a life of peace, justice and love. Children need these symbols. The Greek Orthodox and Roman Catholic churches have been at odds for nearly a thousand years, but this issue over religious symbols in schools is bringing them closer together. They're joining forces with other denominations across the continent which believe that the court in Strasbourg is undermining Europe's Christian heritage. This is a major battle of faith which is just beginning. Malcolm Brabant, BBC News, Lamia, Central Greece.